A lot of people are getting this error when they're trying to install the Cricut plugin that was released on April 22nd, and others are receiving this error. It says there has been an error unable to load Cricut.com. These two errors are specific to malware that is installed on computer. Malware is a relative of viruses, only it usually does things like hijacks your browsing, redirects your browsing through other servers so that they can steal your traffic and your information, or possibly just display ads while you're browsing the internet. For this error, there is a definite fix for it. However, it's only a workaround, and you still need to remove the malware from your computer. Crafts by 2 published a workaround for this error yesterday, and I'll demonstrate how to do it here. And I'll also put a link to their written instructions with screen captures down below, although I'm going to do it a slightly different way than they do. It is a bit confusing considering you're changing settings in Internet Explorer when you may be trying to use Chrome or Firefox to download the plugin. So I'm just going to quickly clarify why you have to change these settings. You can also get to these settings by going to Start and Control Panel and then go into Internet Options. Click on the Connections tab and click on LAN Settings. And if this box where it says Proxy Server is checked, uncheck that box. That is causing your browsing traffic to from Internet Explorer to get redirected to a server on the Internet where they may be trying to steal your information or display ads on your computer or use it as, use it as a conduit to attack your computer over the Internet. The reason you have to change these settings is because the Cricut plugin uses those same settings to connect back to their site. And when you have malware on your computer, it's redirecting it and it's unable to connect and do what it needs to do. It doesn't have anything necessarily to do with Internet Explorer. So change those settings and go back to the browser that you were using, whether it's Chrome, Firefox, or whatever, and then try to download and install the plugin. For this error, you should check those same settings. And for both errors, you should run Malwarebytes software to clean your computer of malware. You can go to Malwarebytes.org and download and install it and tell it to clean your computer and remove anything that it finds to try to remove any type of malware. However, it may not be 100% successful and there could be other malware removal programs that you may have to use in conjunction with it. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.